long time coming, the 2013 Men's Basketball Banquet. I'm happy that you're here with me, and I'm happy that I'm about to introduce my teammates to you. Let's get started. The vets right here, this is the originals right here, baby. This is the originals right here. That's right, that's real right there. It's Marcus Highland. When I listen to the Boys to Men song, End of the Road, I think of you. Next year, when you're getting interviewed, are you gonna think of me and all the practice and stuff I gave for you in, in your future career in front of the camera? Most definitely. Anytime I got interviewed, asked uh, any questions in front of the camera this year, uh, I think back to Melchior and Report and how you prepared me. So uh, I really owe it all to you. What song do you think of that makes you think of me? The Harlem Shake. Really? Harlem Shake. Can you can you give us a little taste of it? Because this is probably going to be the last time you're ever going to be on the Melchior uh, Report. You give me this mic. I want to see you do it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, Andrew, you've been here a long time. Can you give me your top three favorite players in your career? Top three? Um, in no particular order. I'd have to go with uh, Matt Hill. He was here for a while. Yes, he These are all four-year guys, probably. Jay Lucas. He, yeah, and then... Uh, Wild card, Jordan Hamilton. Jordan Hamilton. Yeah. Wild card, indeed. <laughs> now, what city do you think is better, New Orleans or Lancaster, Pennsylvania? Uh, is this a real question? Like, are you serious? Yeah, um, New Orleans. Trick question. I'm sorry. The, the answer is Lancaster. We all know it. Today, I would like to let you know that you've taken the top spot in my Canadian love list. Just tell me. Am I going to be a friend for life, and am I going to be in your wedding? Of course, you know, I can't. It's my favorite white kid, Dean Melchione. Look at them fighting to be on the Melchione for it. Look at all this. Look at this. I'm so famous. I'm so famous. I've never been completely honest with you. When you first came, I'll be honest, I did not think I was going to like you. What changed? Why Why you became this, this man that I love today? <laughs> it was the haircut, man. It's just proud to true me. This is my father. See? Like, oh, man. You're honest. There's been a lot of talk saying that you're gonna get my job next year, maybe something like that. Do you think you have what it takes to do what I do? Uh, I didn't apply for the job. Mm -hmm. Neither did I, actually. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. Probably the people that picked me, they, they saw something in me that mm -hmm. you don't have. Now, John, many people know or don't know tonight here in the audience, your father and I have be become quite close, and he actually told me one time after a game, I'm the light-skinned son he never had. How does this make you feel? I mean, I'd love to have you as a brother. You're a cool guy. I mean, no offense to my younger brother. That's my guy. Yeah. We go way back, but I mean, I wouldn't, that wouldn't be bad if you were my brother. The food, I don't want to take a guess at what it is, but what do you think the food tonight that you literally will be chewing as we're watching this? Mmm. Mashed potatoes, mm. broccoli, mm -hmm. a little shrimp. Ooh. Steak with a little sauce on it. Ooh. You know how I get down. Just tell me your best memory from this year. I think the best memory has to be the Iowa State game. They don't have a timeout remaining. Back to Papa Petru for three. Got it! Wow! My favorite memory, other than Melchioni reports, um, would have to be the ending of the Oklahoma game. Because I just don't want to pick my shot. I would. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick John's dunk Ooh. against the uh, UNC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. John's dunk. Which I passed me the ball though. But, yeah. You know, it was John dunking the ball. Wait. Oh, oh! Throws it down. You once told me that we were about halfway through the season. Your dunk at North Carolina was was the top play. Is that still the top play in your mind? Yeah, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Everyone's favorite memory this year seems to be, you know, your shot versus Oklahoma. But what what is the man who made the shot? What's his favorite memory this year? Ooh, this is tough. This is hard. We had a lot of stuff going on. But I'm going to go with Coach Lanier's speech at the end of the season. Highlight. Just know you're the best. You know you're the best, and I'm going to miss you. Hey, it's been an honor. Thank you. Bring it in. Okay. Listen here, you Longhorn family. I love y'all. Do y'all love me? Y'all better scream when y'all see this video. You feel me? It's been an honor. It's been an honor. It's been an honor.
I love Canadians. Okay, good talk. I'll still look at you across the table right now. Good talk. Thank you. Right, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. But just know, my best memory was meeting you. Appreciate it. Yes, I appreciate you. Thank you. We've gone over our time limit, and I'm sorry. Bring it in. Right. Bring it in. That's real love right there. It's been an honor to get on camera in front of you for three years. I hope this moneymaker has made you smile at least once. Also, my life is in shambles. I do have a mohawk. I do have earrings. Please don't tell my father, because he doesn't know. But really, he doesn't. All in all, I hope you've enjoyed this season. I hope you've enjoyed Texas basketball. And most of all, I hope you've enjoyed the Melchioni Report. Thank you. I love you. And hook em. <laughs>